Good morning, friends. Um, it's Tuesday, so and I the kids are playing. We have another half an hour to go. It's still early in the morning, and I just wanted to show you what I'm working on while they're playing before we do our craft. So I have I'm going to make Christmas labels, and I had cut up some of these um, and some circled ones, and I'm gonna make them in different colors. And I just want to show you what I'm using. So. I didn't have any red cardstock, but I have tons of these um, file folders that I got from one of the parents, like um, hundreds, and they're all different colors, so I was going to use these because uh, they're pretty sturdy and they're nice colors. So I have cut up these, now I'm going to cut up more of these. And for cutting, I am going old school, I'm using her scissors, a pencil, and my old scrapbooking stencils i have a cooking machine but i just figured this will be faster and my uh, pad for cooking machine i need a new one so anyway so i'm using this um and this one so i trace that and i trace the circle and then i'm going to decorate them with some um, like i said i'm going old school i have christmas stamps i have the wooden ones I have acrylic ones, and I have uh, my little blocks for the acrylic ones, and I have tons of different inks. There's several of here. So there's watermark stamp pads. I have quite a bit of those, uh, and then I just have normal ones. I'll probably just stick to a um, couple same colors type of thing. I'm not going to be coloring them in or anything. I'm just going to be stamping on the um, designs. So there you are. So I thought I put my some of my old scrapbooking supplies into use. So here are just a few that I had made. I had put to and from stamp on the back. I just have to erase that little circle and then just stamp noel then i also did snowflakes all over it same thing to and from then this one has happy holidays some reindeers and more snowflakes so i'll make the other ones and then i'll show you how all of them look i almost never share my lunch with you so I thought I'd share it today. I'm just having leftover keto zitty from last night, which was delicious. The only thing that needed is a bit more salt. And I don't feel like making a salad, so I just washed a pepper and some cherry tomatoes. While my food's heating up, I'm just going to make myself a tea. Uh, I don't know if I shared this one. It's just delicious. It's really delicious. It's a tea. It's their seasonal from David, and it is laced with warm cinnamon, cardamom, and zesty orange peel. This cozy oolong is the perfect way to wake up on a winter morning. Well, for me, it's winter afternoon. And it smells super delicious, just so you see on the inside. And for my husband, I ran out of loose leaf. So I'm just making him the Tazo Zen, which is one of my favorites as well. It's really exciting to me that Starbucks no longer carries the, these teas. My food is done, so I'm going to finish making the tea and eat my lunch. Here are the tags that I made. So this is the front and then the back just says to and from. Very simple which is what I was going for. I've got YouTube in the background, got all my wrapping supplies. I'm going to wrap up my two gifts that had come so that way they don't get discovered.
chances of the year To try to make it right, you have to see it clear We all need a helping hand to put our things aside It's time to take a stand with our eyes open Nothing we'll regret You don't have to Believe in Santa Claus To know what's right to do Fighting for a cause So the two gifts are wrapped, so that way I don't have to worry about the kids getting into them and finding them. For dinner tonight, we're having my freezer meal, which is chicken, uh, like for burrito, chicken and salsa that I had made. And then I'm going to, we're going to have burritos. So I am going to make a guac now, and these are the supplies for guac. So got the avocados, already cleaned a jalapeno, lime, some cilantro, a little bit of tomato, you could probably use more, but this is all I had left, and some red onion that I have just uh, had left over, and salt and pepper, and you need a, some sort of a food chopper. So here it is and it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna use some for dinner for tonight and then the rest of it I'm gonna use for tomorrow for my appetizer. And I'm going to chop up some um, zucchini, onion, onion, red onion and red pepper and saute them to go into our burritos. 
So I chopped up my wet veggies. Um, here is the vlog for tonight. Over here I had washed salad because I'm gonna have a naked burrito. So when my husband and the kids can put the lettuce into the burrito. I made snack for the kids, so I'm gonna give them a snack. I made cream for my cookies I'm gonna be making later on. Roasted some hazelnuts for that as well. And now I'm gonna give them a snack and we're gonna head outside and my husband can finish the dinner. So I've finished making the Raffaellos. They need to go in a fridge to get firm. Um, I had gotten the martini glasses and wash them and that's it so i'm just about ready to get into a bath and um today is done i'm not doing anything else i'm gonna have a bath wash my hair and um i'm gonna do a face mask hair mask and then i'm gonna put the pajamas on and watch some TV. So I just wanted to share with you what I'm using. For bath, I'm just putting Epsom salts with the colostas. Uh, then I'm gonna just soak in the up, heating it up for my eyes. For my face, I'm gonna do a home hydration mask from Arbonne. Um, I also have a homemade body scrub. That I'm going to use and for my hair I'm going to use the Mali Moisture Strength and anti braces Gabi Hair So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you all tomorrow and thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my new videos that I post. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.